study the book of Jeremiah. He said, hey, I understood by books the prophecy spoken by Jeremiah the prophet. He said, after 70 years, my people will come out of captivity. But why are they still in captivity? All of them, including Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were all in captivity. Daniel said, come, me, I will go and pray to bring that prophecy of Jeremiah to pass. Daniel entered house, faced his window towards Jerusalem because there's any prayer you make, turning your window towards Jerusalem, God will answer you. He opened his window towards Jerusalem and he began to pray. As Daniel started the prayer, God said, Angel Gabriel, say yes, go and answer Daniel and fulfill the prophecy of Jeremiah the prophet. Gabriel left heaven. As Gabriel left heaven, the Bible says Gabriel passed through Pesha. As he passed through Pesha, the Bible said the principality that is in control and in charge of Pesha arrested the angel of God for 21 days. Gabriel wanted to show power. Gabriel would fly like this. Vagam, 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 hit the wall. Bay for where? No way. A lock, day one. Nothing shake. Day two, nothing shake. In the struggle. Day three, nothing shake. Day four, nothing shake. Kai, even tell me how the Lord say, if Nami be God, you can't hold my angel. And no stay for heaven, say, I bombed the entire pressure. And God no do anything. Does that tell you something? And nobody don't be asked. Say, what he make Gabriel no fee come out? And why God keep quiet? Why did he keep? It's even an insult to arrest the angel of God and God no shake. Come on, guys. Let's think out of the box. Let's think out of the box. Five days pass, nothing happened. Ten days passed, nothing. Gabriel was still absent in heaven and locked up in prison in Pesha. Fifteen days passed, nothing. Twenty days passed, nothing. At the twenty-first day. You know why God didn't do that? God now considered their rank. He said the, the rank of principality in charge of Pesha is higher than Gabriel. Yes, no wonder it was higher. And then God opened the scroll and checked where it was written. They shall run like mighty men. They shall climb the men, the wall, as men of war. Every man must march on his way, but none of them should break their rank. So God had to say, okay, ah, had I now would have sent Michael because Michael's rank is higher than the prince of uh, Pesha. He now had to, because Michael is the chief of defense staff of heaven. He now sent Angel Michael. And Angel Michael arrived Pesha. Baga, everywhere scatter. The CSO of heaven. He went straight to where the prince of Pesha was and held him. Bra! I said, where did you keep the keys? He said, why are you coming to intrude now? This guy has broken our territorial authority. He was not supposed to pass through our country. He was supposed to pass around. Now he came through our country. He, why are you coming now? Why are you breaking your oath of office by coming now? Why? Why? And then Michael said, nevertheless, God has sent me here. Release him. He said, I will never release him. As he held him, you know, throw the key to Gabriel. Say, Gabriel, hold the key. Gabriel, use the key. Open the door. As Gabriel. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. And then Michael couldn't leave Pesha. Because if he leaves Pesha, Gabriel is gone. So he held the prince of Pesha. So yeah, Gabriel, move. Continue your journey. Go and answer Daniel and fulfill the prophecy of uh, Jeremiah. The next thing, Gabriel flexed his feather. He checked the right one, it was working. He checked the left one, it was working. Am I talking to somebody? You were talking to the me. Bible says he flew to where Daniel was. Uh -huh. <laughs> the Bible says when he landed to Daniel like this, eh? The earth became earthquake. Yes, sir. Bam, 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 bam. Uh -huh. His appearance 
hands to Daniel, the Bible says was like lightning. Yes, sir. Yeah! In, have you seen lightning before? When thunder want to strike. Power. Gabriel was carrying the lightning of heaven. Jesus. He appeared to Daniel with lightning. Uh-huh. And then when he landed, the Bible says his eyes was like fire. He e. says, in so much that the people that was with Daniel fled for their life. And Daniel bowed as one dead. Daniel said, my own don't finish today. Now, look at this. As powerful looking as this angel, yet a principality arrested him for 21 days. Is it the principality you went to church and said, you principality, go, go. Because the person fully said it has gone. No, I'm trying to show you why you go to church. No answer. <laughs> and the Bible says, when Daniel fell down as one dead, and then Gabriel began to explain to Daniel, he said, Daniel, I am here to reveal to you what held the prophecy of Jeremiah. There are many of you pastors that have prophesied to you, and it has not come to pass. Not because those pastors, we are not men of God, but because what is holding you is a principality problem. He began to tell Gabriel. Gabriel began to tell Daniel. Daniel said, is that so? Then he ministers to Daniel. He said, now, I am going back. Hear this? I am going back. As I'm going back, I will still meet war because I will go and help Michael. Because Prince of Persia have mobilized more angels to defeat Michael. I need to go and help him. And when I go, Daniel, I will not come again. But the Prince of Gracia shall come. Uh -huh. She Jesus. said the Prince of Gracia. And then history told us, Gracia is Greece. And one day, one man called Alexander the Great is the one who came and destroyed Pesha. Uh -huh. Nobody saw I read them for book. Uh -huh. And then he left. This scripture has left me thinking. We have many principalities. Oh. I'm only, I've only told you uh, poverty, untimely death, and spirit husband. There, there's one the Bible called the locust. The Bible said, the years which the locust has eaten, I will restore to you. Now watch, oh. the locust does not eat that business you are doing. Oh. He eats your years. You think you are doing well. <laughs> After you have spent 30 years, you will now begin to say, what is that thing I've been fighting for? Where is it? You didn't see anything. You are, after 30 years, you are still looking for money to pay rent. That's principality. And God didn't say I would destroy the locusts. He said, the years which the locusts have eaten, I will restore to you. Then he now went for that to say, because the locusts are my army. Yeah. How can what eat my years become the army of God? How can what eat my years, my business, become the army of God? Are people need to ask questions? Asking question, he said, The locusts today for the locusts are my army. He says, Surely the serpent will bite without enchantment. He said, The serpent I sent among you, now he sent the serpent too. He sent the serpent to bite. People are not asking questions, and then the locusts will wait when you have planted. He will not touch your seed. Oh. He will wait when you have watered. The thing will begin to grow. You say, man, half an hour, but I'm doing very well. My business is growing. He's waiting for it to grow. And before you start to put fruit, you say, man, I've had branches, so I've had people, a lot of people working under me. You know, it's wait for it to put. And then the time to eat your fruit. Say, yes, my fruit has ripe. Principality, the locust. What he does, he doesn't come to pluck the fruit. Oh. Mm, that's not what he does. He will now come and uproot everything you have planted. Taking away the seed, the tree, the fruit, taking away your time. If it took three years for it to grow, it takes away the time. Then if you're a man that had mind to start again, you can start looking for seed to plant. Say with me, principality. It makes you waste all your years. <laughs> Sir! It is time. 
On a ready? Can you give me six months to change your life? I collect one year. Can you give me six months? Under my teaching, let me change your life. Aha. Uh-huh. Jesus. There's another one the Bible called the horn. You know horn? Have you seen cow horn before? Goat horn, ram horn. Uh huh. The Bible says in Zechariah 1 and verse 17, God loves Zechariah so much. Zechariah! See, Zechariah, come. Through my prosperity, you will spread abroad. God has released prosperity to Zechariah. The next thing that happened in the very principality is not even with the next verse in verse 18. The Bible says four horns came, four horns appeared. What did this horn come to do? He said, These are the horns that scattered Judah. Nobody say he didn't say these are the horns that is trying to scatter Judah. He said, This is the one that scattered Judah. Judah is a place, a family of God gone gone. He scattered Judah, Jerusalem, and Israel. And the horn came when Zechariah wanted to progress. And the horn says, Zachariah, you're not going any abroad. I don't know how many of you are putting paper, visa, you want to travel. It is the horn that comes. But right now, I prophesy. I don't know what you have put in it. Uh-huh. This is where I prophesy. And I receive it. As the principality special. Yes, my father. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh-huh. That principality leave you. Uh-huh. Oh, the young man just come out. In concern, they go school. In they go work. Now, so how many people come? They shoot for that side, then they shoot criminal. Then flying bullet come hit the head, then come die. He <laughs> die for waiting, no consign them. It's a principality problem. Hello? It's what? A principality problem. That is why in Egypt, they say put blood in your lintel. When the principality in charge of death come and see the blood, they will pass over you. Number three, spirit husband and spirit wife. They are not demons. They are principalities. You don't hear them now? Anybody wait till you say one cast out your spirit husband, they're wasting time. No, be so. Spirit husbands are not demons, so they cannot be cast out. They are principalities. They are legal beings. So how would you deal with them? I will tell you in a moment. Because this spirit husband has, you know, there are some of you, breakthrough, they road, they come. As soon they come now, the spirit wife no come seen so. Now that day where you want come, where the breakthrough one show up, now that they can't sleep with you, you can't wet yourself, can't change your boxers. That thing now where they come, scatter. Now spirit wife. You will call and say, what is happening? Nothing pain pass when they promise you, they can't disappoint you. Now be the job of spirit wife and spirit husband. And Spirit wife and spirit husband does not go by casting them out because they are not demons. They are principality. If you marry somebody in court, hmm, you do court marriage, can you go and say, go, 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 I don't want you again. You will go back to court with two or three witnesses. That is why I said, a woman that has spiritual husband does not need deliverance. What she needs is a divorce. It's a divorce they need. Some of them will go to very powerful church. You know there are powerful churches. Very, very powerful churches. As soon as the pastor is coming, people are falling. Then the man of God will just come. You spirit husband, go. Spirit husband said, me? I'm not going. They said, you must go. I'm not going. I'm not going. She's my wife. When did you marry her? I married her when she was born. So I'm not going. I've invested a lot in her. And then the power, the man of God will now stay and invoke the power of God and shift the spirit husband from the woman. Then the woman will now fall under the power. 
and then the spiritual husband will now leave the church and go and wait outside. <laughs> oh, he did not know what they talk, sir. Spiritual husband will leave the church and go outside and wait. As soon as church is closing, as you are coming, you say, let's go. Carry my bag for me. Let us go home. <laughs> Next time, don't come to this church again. That's why some pastors say, I don't know why the members just say they are not coming. Now, spirit husband say, they are not coming again. <laughs> now, if you are coming to this church, one day you just feel like, say, I know, come again. Now, spirit husband and spirit wife, don't they tell you no go? <laughs> they don't they knock your head and say, no go. You come, they hate the church. You say, Nah, nah, throw. He will not suggest that church too foul. Nah, throw. Man, no go today. I'll go next week. As you know, go that day. The next week, you know, go feel come. Upper week, you know, feel come. By that, he don't block everything for you. Where the spirit husband came from? They came from Bible days, not even today. Not even what? Today. They came from where? Bible days. They started in Genesis chapter 6. That's where they started from. The Bible said the sons of God saw that the daughters of men were beautiful. They journeyed and came. Six fingers and six toes. All of them get six, six fingers. Six, six toes. Who created them? I, I don't know whether you are making sense. So. Okay, let us agree that if God was not happy, meaning those, maybe they created themselves, or God created them. But the Bible says everything was created for him and f uh, by him and for him. So maybe now God now created them. Six fingers and uh, six toes. You understand? And they saw that the daughters of men were fair. Women not fine again. That time. Their hair, they reach here. Not being attachments, don't fool everywhere. Women, then they were beautiful. Angels came in. And began to take wife one after the other. Now my own be this one. Now my own be. They begin to share women. <laughs> they begin to share women. The women angels begin to take men. It isn't only men. He is in himself male and female. So some women will come that time. God say, no, now my husband be that. Now man. After then take finish. The Bible says, God was angry. For he repented God that he had made man. Say, why did I even create man? Now, because of spirit husband and spirit wife, in chapter, the next thing God tell Noah, go and build an ark. Let me carry everybody that believe in me into the ark. So that I can destroy the spirit husband and spirit wife. Now, because of, you don't know. Now, because of spirit husband and spirit wife. How did I know? Because when Jesus came in the New Testament, Jesus said, my second coming will be like the days of Noah, when they are giving to marriage and receiving marriages. That's what Jesus said. No other marriages took place in the days of old, apart from the marriage of spirit husband and spirit wife. Oh, you're not hearing me. That's what Jesus said. Uh -huh. And then, the ark of Noah came and those angels lost their physical bodies and their children. And then they are, the Bible didn't say God destroyed their spirit. It says those angels that in Jude, it said those angels that left their first estate. It says has he reserved for judgment. So he never even judged them. They have not been judged. That's why in the 20th and 21st century, they journeyed to Africa. Then come Okreka, come Calabari, come Potakot, come Delta. Come, uh, do come in most states. Come by Asa. They enter. Begin to worry all the young, young girls and all the young, young boys. When they get up, they will scatter things for them. The next thing, people will know what they for the spirit. Go come call them and say, Oh, now mommy, what are they worrying? Now, spirit, marine spirit, they worry. Make we set table for them. They no go worry you again. Nobody saw it happen. They go come set table. On that table, they will keep Fanta. They will keep saucer. They will keep egg. Sometimes they will dress the person like saying they go marry. They will keep biscuit. Thank God you know. They will keep all those things. Then the person don't marry. Now, unknown to the person they are doing this for, 
the table they set legalize the marriage. Now, some people go come for junction, come see the plate where they keep, they'll carry the biscuit chop. Then people, now nah, people, they, those people will chop and not get problem. They only come enjoy the food where they share for reception. <laughs> if you pick them for junction, chop them, you only share the food. <laughs> you only follow the people who chop for the reception. If somebody they marry here, people come chop, then go get problem. Now the food where they serve, now nah, people come pick for junction, chop them, drink the panta, drink the coke. When they don't break the table, as they scatter the table, they say, Madam, you are free. That same night, the spirit husband will come sleep with them. So what do we do? That is why we need the three witnesses. Jesus came to deal with principality. So when Jesus died, the spirit came out. Not be so. The blood came out. Not be so. When the soldier trusted the spear, here water came out. And the Bible says in 1 John 5, 8, it said there are three that bears witness on earth. The spirit, the water, and the blood. Those are the three witnesses on earth. So if you must deal with principality successfully, you must deal with him with what? The spirit, the water, and the blood. All right? One day God asked me, what does the church use to symbolize spirit? I said the church used the olive oil. Look at this. Give it to me. Say the church used this all over the world. That's why when they say the, when the oil come upon him, the spirit came. So the church used the, the olive oil, viam. What did they use to symbolize blood? I said, whenever we take communion, we use ribena. No, be so. Bring them. And they say, get water. We use water. These are the three witnesses on earth the spirit, the water, and the blood. And then you go see, say, when I mix this three now together, the tree will separate itself in the bottle the same way the Bible says it. The spirit will go up. The water will come at the middle and the blood will come down. Aha! Mystery! I know that oil and water does not mix, so but ribena and water is supposed to mix because anytime I drink ribena, sometimes I dilute it with water. So how come ribena is pure red and water is pure white? Jesus! When you hear the message, well, your problem is 95% solved. <laughs> then when we pour, we'll conclude. Isaiah 43 and verse 9 says, Before you make any declaration, let your witnesses be present. And John told us what those witnesses are. I said they are spirit, water, and blood. So, what are you going to do? You know, many people will say, Father, in the name of Jesus, that car is mine. You know, that's what we were taught. I also grew up in that kind of church. You decree a thing, it shall be established. Have you not heard it? I don't know if you have heard it. You say you shall decree a thing and it shall be established. Let me tell you, that thing you decree will never be established except you decree it with your witnesses. <laughs> That's why you have been shouting now. That car is mine. In the name of Jesus. This is four years later. The car has not come. Because you are declaring without your witnesses. No wonder the elders in the village will carry kai kai. And kai kai is water. And water is one of the witnesses. They will say, my son, you that is in Ethiopia, you have been there for 22 years. We want you to return back to the village and see your people. As a poor, you say, you say, principality will leave Nigeria. Travel without visa to Ethiopia. And knock the head of Chimobi. Chimobi will say, I want to go back to my village. You will say, ah, Chimobi, no cool then let's finish this contract now get money i'm not interested in any contract i want to go back to my village they will before you know chimobi a paid ticket to and come down to his village after three months chimobi is sitting with towel on his neck playing draft with people in the village a man that have come to that level principality brought him back to square one it is not a demon it is what a principality i was born